There was once a little pine tree growing in the forest. He was a handsome tree, well shaped and dressed in the thousand pine needles that stayed green all the year round. But the little pine tree was unhappy. He was too small to talk to the other trees that stood tall and straight all around him. He was too small for the birds to build their nests in his branches or for the summer winds to whistle through his boughs. Once a year, woodcutters came into the forest to cut the big trees down. Some of the trees were sent out to sea, where they became masts of ships. Others were cut down to become part of a home, or a cradle, or a church. Alas, thought the little pine tree, I will never be chosen. I am too little. And then, one night, the little pine tree was chosen. It was very cold that night. The snowflakes fell softly, softly, hush. Then came the sound of silver bells and a sleigh stopped near the little pine tree. It was an old fashioned sleigh drawn by eight thin legged reindeer. A stout old gentleman with an enormous white beard stepped out of the sleigh and pulled a small silver ax from his bright red trousers. He walked over to the little pine tree. The reindeer pranced impatiently and shook the bells on their harness. Just a moment, cried the old gentleman. This is the very tree I need. He is just little enough. Then, chop, chop, chop. The little pine tree felt a sharp tingle in every branch and every green needle. And then it was over. He was cut down. What will happen to me now, thought the little pine tree. Why am I just little enough? tree in the sleigh. Ho Dunder, ho Blitzen, ho Prancer, ho Nixon, and they were off. High, high above the tallest treetops they flew, up, up through the fleecy snow clouds to the star paved road that's called the Milky Way. It's so exciting, thought the little pine tree. The reindeer's hooves struck sparks on the sharp pointed stars, and the sparks arched up, and then gracefully fell down to earth. Shooting stars. I often wondered where they came from. And there's a comet. Swoosh! Swoosh! Now they began to descend. There were lights down below. Then tall chimneys and houses and streets. The city! Ah, this is the city. Now I'll find out what I'm just little enough for. The old gentleman quickly took the little fir tree down a chimney into a small room. Then he began to dress him, first with loops of sparkly tinsel and white fluffy stuff that looked like snowballs, and then with gold and green and silver and red shiny bells. And last, on the little pine tree's cap, he placed a silver star. Then, packages. Oh, the wonder, the joy, the excitement of it all. What am I now, asked the little pine tree. But the old gentleman had disappeared. All at once the doors were opened, and in came two little children, followed by their mother and their father. One child said, Look, how beautiful. I'm sure Santa Claus brought it. The other child cried, it's the prettiest Christmas tree in the whole wide world. Ah, thought the little pine tree, this was well worth waiting for. Now I am the best kind of tree in the world, a Christmas tree. <laughs> Thank you.